I have a lot of real estate to cover my own. What's up everybody? It's yet another one of those super muggy, extremely hot strongman contests. We're here in Dubai and it is already freaking starting to get hot. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. Today's gonna be an interesting day. I have a physical therapist appointment to help me with my neck and knee issues. So I'm excited to see what comes out of that. And then after that, a collaboration with Larry Wheels. But uh, yeah, so we gotta get the day started. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's time for me to get Oh, not again. Not again. So, physio. Just give me the bench here. You don't know what they're doing? What do you have no idea? <laughs> it might take like needles and stick them in my eyeballs and tell them that it will fix my nerve, neuro, neuro, neuropathy. Yeah. Ah, dude, this is a view. Yeah, man. Film away. It's unfortunate it's a little bit uh, hazy out. Mm -hmm. So what's going on with you? Okay, a few things. Um, in my, and I, I just like to get as many opinions as yeah, possible, of because, especially from physical therapists. Cool. I have a, a pinched nerve in between my C5, C6, C7 areas. Okay. Um, that's affecting the tricep strength of my last strength. This is for a couple months now. Right. Um, there's one millimeter bone spurs that are pushing on my nerves, so I just I don't know if there's uh, anything you can teach me to help me with that. I was, I well, we can try, well, well, well you, have you been given kind of nerve like lines and stuff to, to, to do? Such as this, yeah. but I want to make sure I'm doing them right. Okay. Other than that, um, in my left knee here, my um, for the cartilage, the, that's a, the, the lining, the meniscus. Not, the meniscus is slightly torn in the back, okay. very minor. The doctor said it would heal on its own, okay. uh, but there's also wear and tear on the cartilage, cartilage itself. So the extension of my knee can feel a little crackly sometimes. Okay. It's getting a lot better. Is it painful? Um, right now, I can hardly feel it unless, let's see, if I push my knees. Right there, yeah, right here. Okay. So when okay. I push him forward, feel if I go back into a squat, almost nothing, almost. Okay. okay. Then that's over time, like a pressure builds up in the back. I think where that, I think where that meniscus there. So what happens is over time, if there is some wear and tear and things are getting a little bit out of line, yeah, you might feel a little here and there, right? Yeah. It's, 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 I can't give you 100% certainty that like, you know, it would be perfect, but if you're managing and it's pretty much pain-free, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I think I've fixed it by 80%. Maybe. Good, good. So you've been seeing multiple therapists, you've gotten kind of treatments done. What worked best for you? What was like the kind of um, standard that, that really, really helped you? So for my knee, so one thing is, uh, the doctor thinks there's a tracking issue. So my okay. patella is being pulled laterally. laterally. So I've been doing a lot more adduction work. Okay to try to help bring that in. Okay. That has helped. Uh, wall sits, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you just kind of stack up against a wall. Do it and not there. Just at 45 degree, okay. just like that. Okay. Either that or I just do like partial squats before I start lifting just to here. Mm -hmm. Just to warm it up, that helps. Cool. Stretching my quads. Okay. Um, lowering my volume significantly for squats. I'm sure, it's gonna help a lot. That's and for, sure. for overhead, I don't do, I used to do a lot of split jerks. Okay. You know, yeah. so now I just do push press without the drop. Got it, got it. More than anything, what hurts it is the drop underneath the weight. Right, especially if you're gonna be going forward, right? So yes. you're gonna be driving forward? Exactly. Okay, okay, understood. Understood. Yeah, so a lot of the times what we do, we try to educate individuals that's on a, how to... The number one them. reason I would come that, that's, the, that's the big yeah. thing. So a lot of the time, and I see a lot of the movements that you're doing, you're really, yeah. what you're, you're going to be is extremely quad dominant. And I think as, as a strong man, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm sure a lot of the kind of holding positions, a lot of the lifts mm -hmm. you're going to be doing, there's going to be a, a large use of quads, Absolutely. right? So teaching you actually how to get that hinge. So what I always, I mean, we can go through it's this. Like I said, during the squat, when I push my hips back, yeah, I'm fine. Exactly. But so you're getting, for overhead, there's no other choice. That's the thing. When you're going to go here, what you want to do when you want to get under it, you just kind of, you just want to drop. You want to keep this upright. Yeah. You don't want to be leaning exactly. forward, right? Because yeah. shoulder mobility is also a, a crucial thing. Do you do anything for your shoulders? So that's the other thing. Uh, recently, my shoulders have been hurting. Okay. Uh, a year ago, or I think it was two years now, 
a torque on the left lat here. Okay. Ever since then, this arm, no problem. Wants to go far there. This arm gets stuck. I'm trying to figure this out, and it feels like if I like grab it and force external rotation on it, I'll go a little bit more. I get a little bit more. But it's uh, this left one feels so stuck in. Can you go into that position again? So bring both arms up. And I, I should probably just remember, right? So just relax as much as you can. Yeah, so I feel impingement right here, probably the acromion. Yeah. Bring this up mm -hmm. here. Yeah, let's relax it a bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there is definitely more movement going on yeah. here. Yeah, so impingement. Unless I'm like forcing the Good external points. rotation and depression of the shoulder blade. Okay, well we'll take a look at we'll take a look at a couple of things and see what's what. Um, obviously, I work with a lot of movement, right? Yeah. For me, movement is the biggest thing when it comes to any kind of rehab, right? Yeah. So it's great to become pain free, but getting you moving, getting you functional is what really matters, right? Yeah. I'm not too worried. As we go through life, we're going to pick up injuries left, right, and center. Okay. Absolutely. There's no questions about it, right? But it's how do you manage your pain symptoms and how do you function around that. That's what I really care yeah. about, right? So even though you have a tear there, I have a torn ACL, I still function, yeah. right? You have I've all gone through other things. many contests with it. Exactly. I won World's Strongest Man with it. Exactly, well that's it, congratulations. Thank that you. was this year as well, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. big, big ups to you, right? Yes. So, so this is where, you know, we gotta kinda take that out of your mind and we just gotta see, okay, well how am I moving? Even though mm -hmm. I have this, can I get full functional movement? Can yes. I get full functional strength? That's all that matters at the end of the day for you, right? Yes. So you can get through these competitions. Right? So the biggest, I think that out of all the three that I've shown you, the biggest one that's a mystery to me is this one. Because this is brand new. Okay. Like the next thing that happened a couple months ago, it's getting better. Okay. Uh, the weird thing is when I first got it, the pain started up here. Uh, got an MRI for this area, mm -hmm. found the bone spurs, which are one millimeter, it's not bad. It's not huge. But then the pain, like as I've been stretching my uh, traps, I've been stretching my neck, it feels like the pain's kind of gone down to here. Okay. But it's maybe a one or two out of 10 at most, whereas okay. in the beginning it's excruciating. Okay. Give you some corrective stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna be a trial and error with you and I'll be there as well on Friday. So oh, cool. I mean, I'll give you two days, kind of give it a shot, see how you yes. feel and then we can kind of mm -hmm. chat about it a little bit more there. Basically we'll this whole week is gonna be rehab for me. That's and good then. That's good. You, you know what, at least you're one of the smarter ones in actually doing that. There's a lot of people who just come here and it's like, fix me now. I'm like, when are you competing? You know, in a week. Yeah. Like, yeah, it doesn't really work that way, right? So I just want to learn as much as I can. Cool. All right, let's keep your feet completely together. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to look at two things first. So I'm going to look at your neck movement. I'm going to look at your shoulder movement. We'll work around okay. that at first. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first thing I want you to do, can you bring your chin down towards your chest as low as you can? Do you have any pain when you do that? Mm, just no. Just don't hurt anything pulling on that back side. I would say there's zero pain. Okay. It almost feels just like a tension. Okay, come back up. Can you go into an extension? So head as far back as possible. And that's where you're struggling a little bit, right? Do you have any pain with that? I'm you're wondering if I'm You're, start, you're actually again. starting to lean back here, okay, right? So on. just do it, that's do it. it. Okay, good, that's as far as you can go? No, I think I'm avoiding it. Okay, don't, don't push anything okay. here, your body doesn't want to do. No pain, just like it's feel maybe a little. Crunchy? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's the But way if I go going. back this way, out, immediately. Right away? Yeah, uh-huh. Can you turn your head all the way to the left for me? Okay, can you hold there? Bring your chin down in that position. Any pain when you're doing that? Nope. Okay, a little bit of fasciculating going on. Mm -hmm. Can you turn to your right as much uh, as you can? A little bit of what going on? Fasciculating. So you see it's like, you, oh. do you feel how everything is kind of shaking a little bit? Yeah, this way's worse. So I, get, I feel yeah. like I'm getting stuck here already. Got yeah, the same range of motion. And now down, you see how it's kind mm -hmm. of a little bit. Yeah, this way is really tough. Okay. 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 No pain. Both, though. No just, pain. Just tough, but no pain, right? Tough, but no pain. Okay. Cool. I've been doing a lot of stuff like that just to try to relax it, kind of get it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next thing I want you to do: arm comes up. Try touching your opposite side shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any pain when you're doing that? Any discomfort? Nope. Tricep stretch. Okay. Cool. Come on out of that mm -hmm. one. Do the other side now. That's a little bit tougher for you right there. Yeah, Maybe something tough. related in that lat, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, coming off. Any pain with that? Uh, oh, when I released it, there was like a maybe one or two out of 10 in that. Something going area. on mm -hmm. in the shoulder. Okay, yep. next thing I want you to do, just an internal rotation and up. So, yeah. And up? As far as you can go, it's fun. Okay, you're kind of shrugging it there. Any pain with that? No pain. No? Okay, come on off of that. Switch up to the other side. This side is way worse. Okay. So, so definitely something going on here. What is going on? I'll have to check and see. Mm -hmm. Good. Any pain with that? No pain. Okay. 
Okay, cool. I'm just going to look at kind of thoracic movements as well. So I want you to try to just go down. Can you do, do a, a toe touch for me? Okay, brilliant. Do you have any pain, any discomfort when you're doing that? Just a stretch. Okay. I, and I do feel when I do that, my knees want to go like this and I have to force inwards. Inwards, yeah. Okay. Okay, so oh, that's another thing I want to mention. I have a little pain in my uh. Got a little bit of everything going on with you. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> One last thing I want you to do, just kind of have here arms up. I want you to kind of go into a back bend for me. So go as far, yep, arms up and back bend for me as far as you can. That's brilliant. Wow. Okay, that's that's really really good, right? So not many people can get that kind of extension. So okay. In terms of spinal movement, super so, super super happy. Okay. One thing, an osteopath or something. I don't know how valuable. That is, uh, he was telling me that my lower back is very mo mobile, mm -hmm. but I lack mobility in my thoracic here. We are always lack mobility in our thoracic. Why okay. we live here? Okay. We're always we're always like this. We're always seated like this, right? So being <laughs> and living and living in that no, but it's, it's just the truth, right? Yeah. Living in that position. And you, out of all people, you're probably going to be one of those, especially if you're lifting stones or something. You're going to be working into that extension nicely. Don't worry too much. As okay. long as you got that mobility through there, I'm happy. Okay, we can always work on thoracic extension more and more and more. You're, trust me, you're not bad at all. Where are you feeling the pain? Is it the level of the shoulder? Right in that area. Yep. Okay. Is it deep or is it superficial? I think it's deep, yeah. Deeper? Okay. It, it feels like right underneath the acromion. Okay. Painful or not? Nothing. Well, now it's like a th 3 out of 10. Okay. If I just like go there and I just want to go down, is it the same? Same kind of sensation? Uh, only in the very bottom. Okay, so as we repeat it, I'm going to go into a full external rotation like you said. Nothing, 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 nothing at all. Okay. I'm, I'm eating a little bit in that external rotation, and ouch. Right away. Mm -hmm. So when you're in that internal, and it's it's only in here, it's nothing going on yeah, so much right here. right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does feel deep, like not muscle. Okay, relax. Yeah. Maybe it is. Oh. I mean, there's, there's, always, there's always that possibility, right? All fine. 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 One out of ten. Fine. Fine. Okay. Just want to compare one side to the other. I just want mm -hmm. to see what's what. So I'm just looking at range of motion right now. So what what does he kind of essentially, if he's lacking any range of motion, want to be getting that range of motion back? And how does it feel throughout the motion? So the stability aspect, I'm not too worried right now. So your internal rotation on this side is a little bit... Interesting. Any, any, any pain? Or no any pain whatsoever. No pain whatsoever. Zero, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to test a couple things. So can you hold your arm right here? Just mm -hmm. like this. Can you push down and away to me? Okay. When I'm doing this, I'm just looking for a response, right? I'm not looking for how strong you are. I already know that you're going to kind of pound me through the ground if you wanted to, okay? So just kind of resist my force more than anything, okay? Push down here, push down, keep arms straight and down. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Let me know if there's any pain at any point. Push down here, uh, not not this way, down to the floor. Any pain at any of those points? Yeah. Okay. Cool, just hold that arm there. Maybe like when I released it, a 0 0.5. Okay, nothing, it's nothing, nothing kind of very big. So keep that arm nice and straight, mm -hmm. push down towards me. Any pain? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, turn out here. Pull down for me. Okay, so that's a little bit tougher for you, right? So when I'm when I'm saying uh, you'll be able to hold it, if I start ripping at it, you'll be able to hold it. But just push again. Do you, how confident do you feel right there? You see how it's a little bit shaky and it it's, feels different. Yeah. It feels different. I could break you, right? If I brought you into that same position on this side. Mm -hmm. Okay, push down. I can't break you. I'm, I'm, I I could keep pulling on that. You're gonna keep pulling, holding, holding. Right. Try to go. Okay. I, don't, I don't need to go harder. I ramped up there, mm -hmm. right? You if I do the up. same thing here, yeah, yeah. push down. Oh, wow. And it's going to go. What's going on there? Okay. Okay. Um, let's see if this is actually affected from your lat. So with this arm, can you touch? You said you had a tear here somewhere, right? It was, it was higher up. Oh, oh, the attachment here. Okay. So just kind of put it here. Kind of put your hand just roughly in this area. Let's mm -hmm. see if this makes a difference. Can you pull down for me? Pull down for me. Uh, it's not making a difference. Can you touch your shoulder where it hurts you? Okay. Okay, pull down for me. That, mm -hmm. Can you move around a little bit? Can you be more specific with where you're actually feeling that area? 
So I'm trying to find a compensation or an area of compensation that's going to be creating the strength, right? Or your area that's going to be working. Pull, pull down. No, I'm not convinced with that. Okay, relax. So uh, what, what is my hand supposed to So that? what you're doing is something called a TL. You're mm -hmm. trying to feel an area where the muscle is actually going to be compensating for that other muscle. Oh. Okay? So whenever the Compens box... Compensating for which muscle? So that's the thing, right? So when I'm testing here, I'm testing your middle trap. Okay, how good is your middle trap? Oh, okay. Right? I see. A lot of the times what the body does is we'll always look for compensatory patterns. I see. Okay. okay. I'm making you feel around this area because I think maybe your posterior deltoid or maybe, you know, yeah. I don't know, maybe your levator scap or something is trying to make up mm. for the fact that your middle trap is not working that well. Okay. Point. Okay. Mm. I didn't really feel a difference in either of those. It's yeah. not, it should give you instantaneous strength back, yeah. right? Keep that arm nice and straight here. We're going to come up a little higher. Can you pull down to the floor as well? I mean, you can hold it. Good. Don't go so hard. Go a little bit lighter. Go again. Okay. See that fasciculating, that kind of shaking around? I don't like that. Okay? Yeah, that That's not, it's not a confidence inspiring thing for me, especially when I want you to be nearly charged. Yeah. I want you to be ready. Because when you got to do a lift, you got to be prime man. Tentative. But it doesn't hurt. It doesn't, it That's hurt. the thing. I don't want you to think that way, mm -hmm. right? So we need to kind of figure out what is it that's kind of creating that issue. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pain in these areas when I'm kind of pushing? Maybe a little bit there, yeah. What therapeutic modalities have you used before that worked well for you? Um, I've been seeing an osteopath. I've not been seeing a physical therapist. I really want to. I'm going to have you sit up. There you go. Okay, so just hold that position right there. Uh, can we actually bring your legs just around? Yeah, that's going to be good. That's going to be better. Okay, so what we'll have you do, I'm going to have you actually cross your arms here. Okay. I want you to... Doesn't matter which way. Doesn't matter which way. Whatever is comfortable for you. Okay. I'm going to have you rotate this way. So rotate this way. And now what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you do a side bend. Can you do a side bend? Good. Okay. So this is testing internal oblique on this side. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to push you out of that side bend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? And go. Okay. You're good on this side. What did that do? Just testing my oblique in, 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 activation. In, 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 oh, okay. Internal oblique. We're just checking his muscle activation right now. Good. Here. And go. You're fine on both sides. Good. Lie back down before, right? So maybe there could be something structural going on here. I can't really pinpoint and identify. I need to kind of feel around a little bit right now, kind of with, with how you feel. And I do feel about like the pain here yeah. and the lack of mobility. I mean, it's always, my right side's always been more mobile. Okay. But ever since that lat tear, like I have lost a lot of mobility here and that's been mm -hmm. an issue, especially the last couple of months since have I've nerve damage. Have you ever gotten needle before? No. You never got acupuncture before? No, but it, I just don't know if I believe in it. Okay, it's up to you to decide, right? I, so, I mean, if, the, if you think there's studies that support it, I don't know if I would love to hear. So I'm a big fan when it comes to, wh what I'm feeling right now is that your lat will be to a certain extent what we call hypertonic. So when I just touch it, you see how it's all rigid? It's very, yeah. It's very, very rigid, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be rigid. Okay, that means that there's going to be trigger points. Right? Oh, okay. What happens in any kind of muscle is that mm. you want to have, you relax your arm completely, I'll hold it here. Yeah, okay. At some points, you want your muscle to be turned on, and at other points, you want your muscle to be turned off. Yeah. You never want your muscle to be on all the time. That makes sense, yeah. Okay? When the muscle is on all the time, it means that your brain is saying, shit, I need to guard something. I need mm. to protect something. I, there's something that's a little bit off here. So true, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I need to protect it. Yeah. Right? So it could be an interesting modality for you or an interesting way of kind of maybe releasing something, opening okay. up some range of motion. And then what we'll do is we'll give you some simple kind of strengthening exercises. So I identify two or three muscles that I'm not super keen on. I need them to kind of mm. activate a little bit more, get them firing up a little bit better. Okay. That's it. So acupuncture is there to turn off those muscles that are overworking a little bit too much. They're hypertonic, right? The strength and conditioning that we'll do afterwards will kind of stabilize throughout those new ranges of motion that are going to open. So what we're going to do here, or what you're going to feel here, okay? You're going to feel like you have, I always say this to all, most people, it feels like you have a second heart. What? Because right? you're going to have these, you're going to feel these impulses. You're going to have these mm -hmm. like, these kind of muscle twitches. Okay? Yeah. This is what I look for when I do my needling. Gotcha. Okay? So I just want your arm, are you comfortable in that position? Nice yes. and relaxed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't you disinfect there? It's, it's. Entirely, oh, okay. uh, it's, it's, it's disinfected entirely. It's okay. in an uh, air sealed back. <laughs> <laughs> this guy loves his questions, eh? Ready? Yeah. You feel anything? No. Not yet? Yeah, okay. What do you feel there? Just weird. Weird? 
Is it in? Of course it is. <laughs> <That's what she's laughs> <saying. laughs> okay, let's bring her arm down just a little bit. Cool. It's out now. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple points here. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of feel around. Got a big ass lap, man. What can I say? Got a lot of real estate to cover. We <laughs> need a bigger needle as well. Any pain? Any discomfort? No. Feels weird? Yeah. What is the science? I mean, do we understand whatsoever why acupuncture works if it does? So anything that's internal inside the body responds really different to anything that's external, oh. right? So what you're doing here is you're going to be puncturing through multiple layers of skin, mm -hmm. okay? And normally what happens is that you have also certain, you know how muscle contraction works, you need sodium, potassium, and chloride in order to get a proper muscle get contraction. Get ATP? It's, yeah, to, yes, correct. Um, so to a certain extent, you're going to be changing the concentration of these kind of uh, micronutrients across these channels, right? So in turn, it's going to actually relax your lat a little bit as well. Hmm. Okay, it also has an internal effect. So when I'm gonna be poking, I'm gonna actually be creating muscle damage. So like, you're gonna feel soreness after this, oh, okay. which is gonna elicit also kind of a healing response, right? So there's gonna be blood flow that's gonna come to the area. Right? How do you know where to put I just it? I just feel. It's more of a feel thing. It's where it's tense. Yeah. Do you have any pain in this area? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you feel it? I feel at the end, I, I almost need like a longer needle. <laughs> Do you feel it? Yeah, I feel violated, but it's good. <laughs> it's good. In a good kind of way, right? I consented to this. Do we? As long as, long as it's consensual, right? Yeah, that's, that's, where that's, all, that's all that matters, right? Oh, I felt that one. I, I didn't feel any jumps, though. I'm, I'm looking for the jumps. Ah! All right, so we got something. So I normally don't go this obliquely inside because yeah. obviously there's the lungs there, but this guy's lats are so big that I have to. POV amateur 480 <laughs> quality. Okay, so do you feel how much looser this is now? Like I couldn't do that. Look at this. Get, get a video of this. Look, look, look how I can now see how it's just kind of let yeah. go. It's a chicken, say so chicken like breast a fillet, fillet, bro. <laughs> chicken breast fillet. How do you feel? Oh, uh, that last one really hit a spot. Yeah. I think it's good. I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea what to think. <laughs> I don't know what to think. I don't, I don't know. know what to do. I don't know. Stop touching me. Stick a needle at me. I don't know. understand why it works. He explained it to me. It made so much sense at first. Now I don't understand. Before, where he was very, very hypertonic. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have to assess his range of motion next, right? But now I can feel that that tone has completely decreased, right? I couldn't actually move it like that before, okay. and now I can, mm -hmm. right? So wow. what we're looking for is just this. And it's okay that it's sore right now. It's going to be a little bit sore. Okay. It's going to be sore a little bit afterwards. Good. Right? It's a completely normal response. It was totally fine until that last one. I'm like, yeah, I feel nothing. I feel nothing. The last and one. We feel something. Yeah. It's going to be maybe a little bit sore, but look at this. And there's just a pain right at the end there. Okay, but your arm is going way farther than before. Oh, yeah. It's going to be it, a little It was sore. painless until the very end, okay. of, the end of the range of motion. But that's see, so now we're taking you to a range of motion that, that your brain has never gone to or yeah. hasn't been in in yeah. a while, right? No kidding, that was so, surprising when you just did. So now what we have to do is when we get into that range, I need to strengthen you in that range. Okay. Right? So I'm going to give you some really, really simple exercises to do. It doesn't need to be difficult. You start mm -hmm. off with isometrics and then you grow from there. Okay. Right? You've got a lot of strength already to begin with. I don't need to worry about strengthening in certain areas. You just need to get your body comfortable in that new position. Gotcha. That's it. Yeah. That's all. Right? Did you have that pain that was deep inside? That was only at the last, last, like, last, very last, couple, last. few degrees. Okay. Whereas okay. before I think it's hit much earlier. Cool. Okay. I'm not going to do then much more. Then I'm going to just kind of feel around if I... I feel like I don't need to do much more here. Feels nice. I think it feels different. It does feel very different to me. How often should I do acupuncture? It depends on every individual. Every individual is very, very different, mm. right? Um, for this lap, for example, would it be like one I mean, it could be, thing, dude, it could be just this one time and then boom, you're, you're, you're better, oh, right? Shit. If, if you okay. strengthen yourself, if you do the right thing, you give your body what it needs exactly, you won't have to do it again, well, that's right? Okay. But the thing is, is you train a lot, right? So yeah. you're going to have to do a lot of maintenance work in one way or another. For I think sure. this is just another modality that might help you recover quicker. That's okay. it, right? That's okay. why I wanted you to actually like experience it more than anything else Very right cool, yeah come into this position what i want you to do, keep that arm nice and straight okay okay bring your palm nice and up good can you push down lightly into my hand okay yeah don't have so much shaking anymore do you notice that oh my you're god right. that is night and day okay holy shit. holy shit. because your abs were like shaking like yeah 
Just go nice and light. Good. Start with there. No kidding. Okay. And you're, you're better already in that position. Whoa. Cool. That's already an improvement. Now I'm going to bring you here. So yes, it's going to be a little bit sore. Okay. Come into this position. Can you push down into my hand lightly? And that's better too. And I'm feeling more strength. So do you feel how neurally now, like I can kind of, you could push yeah, a little bit harder. I do. So the efficiency of the contraction is better. Okay. Let's go again. Painful. Push. Just nice and light. We're going to do a couple of them here. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Good. And relax completely. Good. Nice. I'm just going to make you move a little bit here. Come into this position. Go again. Go again. So push. You down. know what? I'm surprised I feel no pain. Can I just use any needle pull or just um, a knife? <laughs> I, would, I would go with a knife. It has to be fairly small and it has to be of a certain length. So on him, I used a 50 millimeter. Yeah. I probably want to use a 60 because he has bigger lats, but yeah. we don't have 60. We have 75, but 75s get really awkward. So I was just like, okay, I'm going to tough it out with a 50. Mm. And I always go with the, the question. I always start with less and then go with more. Okay. So a smaller yeah. response, see how you respond to it. If you respond well, then I'll go a little bit harder. What's Very the point cool. of kind of thrashing you on the first time? No, yeah. that's, that's really, really bad, right? For I need sure. to know how you respond to these things, right? Keep that arm straight. We're going to do it one more time here okay. and push down, push down one more time. Okay. And that feels a lot stronger, by the way. Okay. Cool. Let's just see now relax wise, just relax completely cool. that arm. Dude. Range of motion is opening back up, right? You got so well, you were feeling like a pinch in this in this area before, no? Not not a very minor in this one, I remember? Yeah. But look, your your wrist is getting now under the table where it wasn't before. Really? So the acupressure turns off a lot, but like, what? How do we turn on that? Exercise. Exercise. Okay. Right. So if you really want to turn on the, I don't know how the lat is going to be functioning right now. What the lat is primarily responsible for doing is for. Uh, internally rotating and also adducting the arm, right? So if I do anything where I internally rotate and pull into your side, so pull into your side, that's a lot more linear as well. And it's a lot stronger, believe it or not. And I felt it better. I actually felt okay. the fire more. The man is saying it himself. Do, do it okay. again. Go. Yeah, I actually feel my lap firing there. No, I'm saying all these things and they're, they're actually, <laughs> I really feel them. Like I legitimately feel this pain. I legitimately felt like my lad just fired up more, but I also believe the placebo was... Uh, Probably. Was there, there is, there is. So why don't we do this? So now that you're here, that's one thing, but it doesn't really matter what happens on the table. It matters what happens when you're going to be standing up. For right? sure, yeah. So let's get you standing, okay? What we're going to have you do, um, I mean, I can give you an elastic band and make you do a couple things, right? Yeah. We can work always kind of retraction and whatnot, but I just want to assess you in this position. So bring both arms up nice and slowly. Whoa. Back in Whoa. place now. Six pricks with a needle. Are you serious? Yeah, Are you okay, I don't think that's possible. Okay, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's, that is it's, sick. A modality, it's a modality that will work for you, given that it's done in the right places. Right? Yeah. I, I don't, wish you were in Los Angeles, because I don't know who to trust, you know. Ask around, right? Ask yeah. around, do your research. So you you guys will find someone. There's there's people everywhere who are doing this stuff, right? Feeling good, eh? Yeah. Okay, and that's just from your lat. That's amazing. Okay, but remember, now you're you're still in kind of a, what I call it, kind of a shaky area, because you yeah. still need to stabilize through that area. I wouldn't be comfortable with you going to do your heart heaviest lift right now. No, 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 no. Oh, well, you'll probably be able to, yeah, you'll probably fall back to where you were before if you don't strengthen this up progressively. So what's most important now is doing what we call isometrics. So it's okay. just those holds like I was doing, not yeah. sub-maximal holds, mm -hmm. doing it and repeating. When could I go? Uh, because let's say I skip lifting today, mm. would it be okay like tomorrow? If you feel okay, I, again, this is a what if, I don't know, right? Okay. I don't know what you're capable of doing, I don't know, you know. I, I mean like even my light lifting is heavy. It feels light for me. Okay, but, well if it's light for you, then it's going to be okay for you to train. It, okay. I'm, not, I'm not comparing you to me, I'm comparing you to you. If you're saying it's light for you, Go do it, right? If it's heavy. But even if it's light, it means weight, it's the weight. Yeah, but it's light for you, right? Yeah. We're, in, we're, we're speaking kind of in retrospect yeah. to your abilities, right? So if it's light, go train light. That's fine. Okay. okay? I want you to move. Yeah. We're all about promoting you to move. If you yeah. don't move, you will not get better. If you do move, you might get better. Okay. Okay? That's, we, pain, that makes sense. I always say this, there's actually a guy, I think he's from Los Angeles, actually. His name is Perry Nicholson. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this guy. Pain is a request for change. Yeah. I love that saying because it's your body saying, I want you to do something different. I like that. Yeah. And if you don't do anything, if you don't do anything different, nothing's going to change.
nothing's gonna change. You just need to have a nice conversation with your body. There, there you go. <laughs> you, you, you just need to ask your body, wait, what's going on? And the body will respond. Will respond to This might also have an effect on your neck. Okay? I'm gonna feel around just on your neck. I, yeah. I noticed you already did your adjustment on your neck. Please. I want you just to kind of lie down here. Move face down? Uh, no, face up. Do you have any pain? You, you said you have bone spurts, right? Yeah. Has anyone ever taped you? Tapes? Yeah, like kinesiology tape base. Like rock, rock tape? Yeah. Not around my neck, well, around my biceps, my chest. Do you want me to put some on your neck? Do you actually, does, does that actually work? Yeah, that? it does, man. I don't it's, not a, it's not a placebo effect, there's actual huge changes. Really? Yeah, so you have to be educated on, on what it actually does. It does three things, okay? Who? Go on. So like, let's say a chiropractor does it to me, do you believe that? Chiropractor does what? Like, Cracking? Like, no, like, like KT tape. Okay, so I'm not the biggest fan of KT. KT does not stick at all. Okay. Like, I've had horrible experiences with KT. I'm sorry if any KT people out there, like, I'm not here to kind of bash you. It's just more of a preferential thing. Mm -hmm. uh, rock tape or uh, rock tape was the one that I used and I've seen the best kind of result in the sense of it kind of holding on for three to five days on most individuals. Um, three to five days, holy shit. Yeah, man. If you don't sweat too much, yeah, it can stay on three to five days wow. if, it's, if it's done correctly. It depends. It depends on the practitioner and how they do it, right? Mm -hmm. What's most important when you're going to be applying any kind of rock tape is to stretch the skin, right? Don't stretch the tape as much. Stretch the skin, mm. okay? That's the biggest piece of advice I can give anyone. So if you're going to be taping yourselves, make sure to place yourself in the stretch position. So if I'm going to be doing, let's say, the back side of my arm here, I'm going to stretch the skin. I'm going to stretch here and then I'm going to place it on. Right? Mm. So oh, okay. with the skin here, when it comes back into this position, it's going to come out of stretch and what's going to happen is that the tape is going to be pulling the skin up. If it pulls the skin up, what's going to happen? You have layers underneath your skin yeah. that are going to decompress. You're going to create more space for movement, Ooh. right? So the gliding is going to be a little bit nicer. Okay. okay? Very cool. The second thing that it does, and this is going to be probably the biggest thing for you guys as athletes, is that it sends more feedback about movement to your brain. Mm. Okay, so uh, let me give you a good example. If I'm here and I'm moving my arm around, right? Mm -hmm. I can see I'm moving my arm around, but if I close my eyes, I still know that my arm is more or less in this position. Yeah. Right? That's for two reasons. You have receptors in your muscles that detect stretch mm -hmm. and detect pressure that send information back to your brain about how, how stretched, how long are they, mm -hmm. okay? But you also have your skin that deforms. Right? You're stretching oh, your skin. True. You have 10 times as many receptors in your skin oh. than you do in your muscles. Okay? So that's a lot of information. Now, you don't feel your skin, but if I put a piece of tape on your skin, will you feel it? Of course. You yeah. bet, right? So your brain is uh, going to get more information about movement in and around the area. If it gets more information about movement in the area, it can make a better output. So it can change what's going to be working. Okay. Right? That's the biggest effect of kinesiology tape. So it's not a, it could be a placebo to an, a certain extent, mm -hmm. but there is actual data behind it saying, so you're cool. getting more input, you're gonna get a better output, okay? Is there similar data with acupuncture? That's been uh, you can find it, I mean, I haven't gone crazy on it. You can kind of look after it, yeah, sure. There is, okay. there's, there's studies on everything now. Okay. You, you try to find it, you'll, you'll have it, you'll find it, right? Let me just go see where the doc is, because uh, I told him he should be here by now. How do you feel? Good. I mean, I got my neck rub. It was really nice. But like the lat, does it feel? Lat feels sore. But I mean, that he told me that would happen. But what was fascinating was that it, the range of motion did feel better. Yeah. Like this is like actual results. Man, that's pretty awesome. So like in this channel, we want to we wanted to experiment all types of therapy. Yeah, I really want to see. My my favorites always have been physical therapists. Um, the work that UC has done has been phenomenal as well. Um, so yeah, moving on, figuring out what works best. So Martins is feeling a little bit of discomfort going down this area. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a decompression-based taping, which is essentially going to stretch the skin, and then we're going to apply the tape. And you'll see once the tape is on, it'll probably be fraying a little bit. So you'll see it's kind of pulling his his skin up a little bit, decompressing everything underneath. Very cool. You want to decompress? You want to tape my lap too? No, so well, I can what, tape. I can tape anything. What, what what benefits come from decompressing skin from uh, better guess, movement? Better movement, right? Better movement. Oh, so right. We talked have, about we have that um, the uh, 
neurological response. You're also well. getting a big neurological response. Mm -hmm. There's also one last thing I didn't address in this, but there's also a pain mitigating effect. Mm. Okay. How does it work? There's this thing called pain, uh, pain gate theory, which is basically a theory saying that your movement, all the information about movement and all the information about pain going to your brain, go along the same track. Okay, they, they go along the same tracks to your brain. Yeah, okay, okay yeah. so if I make you feel more of one, yeah. you're gonna feel less of the other. Oh, interesting. Do you understand yeah. that? So if I because put tape and you're gonna so feel- so much that the highway can take, yeah. Exactly. So you're gonna be feeling more about this movement, you're gonna be feeling less of your pain. Very cool. So it's not a nocebo, it's an actual- Very it's, interesting. It's, it's the real deal here. Well, so I'm just gonna, so a lot of people kind of, I just go with a couple swipes over it just to make sure it heats up a little bit and it sticks a little bit better. Man, you got a lot of real estate that I gotta cover here, man. I gotta like lean and tiptoe over you. Gotta make sure that uh, there's fish for him next time he's here. Yeah, right? Okay, a lot of people as well. So you see how the tape didn't end evenly here, okay? That's not an issue, okay? Don't, don't make a big issue out of it. It's more of a cosmetic thing, right? You can come back up with your neck now. Okay, so you see now, come on over here. Look what's happening right here. You see how it's kind of fraying over? Yeah. Okay, so it's creating these waves. It's kind of picking things up. It's picking that skin up, right? Cool. I can pull more. I mean, this is happening just here because this is where there's an actual crease. But in reality, it's happening all the way down here. It's just kind of just globally lifting up the skin more than anything. Do you feel right? a difference? Uh, yeah, I feel that wrinkly effect. So other than pain mitigation and also that neurological effect, of course, of us. Decompression. Those are the three things. Decompression. So, so the decompresses decompression, the skin. How does, what does decompression do? Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's also going to attract fluid into that area, right? So if I pull something up here, I'm going to attract oh, flow into that is. area. So blood, well, better right? blood flow, better Correct. nutrient delivery. Correct. That's what I want to hear. Good. This is this guy, man. He's, he's, I'm telling you. Can you go back down? Okay, and well, I'm just... I just like to have reasons to believe, you know, other than... Yeah, man, oh, I... Yeah. Listen, this is what I tell to everyone. You have the right to know if you're going to believe in something or not believe in something. And you have to be extremely critical. So the fact that you're being really critical right now, I love it. Good, come back up. Is I love it because it's, it's making you make these wise decisions if you want to continue with this or you don't want to continue with this, Great. right? Mm -hmm. How does that feel? That's so now, now you awesome. see you see more here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like how that feels. It feels okay. Nice. So it's here just to kind of decompress. I know I went a little bit off to the side. It's not the greatest kind of taping, but it doesn't need to be a hundred percent. Okay. He was also telling me he was feeling a little bit more on your right side, correct? Or is it on your left side? Uh, the, the nerve issues on my right. Yeah. That's why. So it's going off a little bit to the right. So it's even <coughs> actually more favorable. Okay. No, that feels really nice. It feels just like there's a. It's almost like his hands are permanently massaging my neck. So that uh, wraps up our first uh, physical therapy session here in Dubai. And I gotta say it was pretty awesome. Uh, first time getting acupuncture um, a lat. Last time I got it was for my neck and that didn't do anything. But this really did really help with my range of motion, surprisingly. I don't know what to think about that. I'll see how that feels on the next day. See if it's in my head or not. But uh, if you guys are ever in Dubai, check out uh, Oliver here. His uh, handle should be linked down below. And yeah. Pleasure having you guys. Thank you so much.